First, firstly, my name is Nadlak Lajuru. I'm originally from Apex Hill, Nunavut, like Paige said. I am thrilled to be with you this evening. For, uh, secondly, I'm going to do a little land acknowledgement. The city of Toronto acknowledges that we are on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa and Haudenosaunee and the Wendat peoples and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. The city also acknowledges that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13, signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Williams Treaties, signed with multiple Mississaugas and Chippewas band. Secondly, I am going to do a Lord's Prayer in Inukitit. Collins, Amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us. TIA, Paige, thank you for, for the opportunity to share my knowledge of Inutut. In, 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 um, is translated to like like human. Inutitut is our written language syllabics. Uh, my background is my syllabics board. Um, Paige, do you have any, um, um, can you bring up the Yes, let me, I will be one minute. I'll just have to find the image of that and then I can share my screen. Thank you. Yeah. That, that is our, is the Inuit year. I'll be talking about it too. Um, yes, bring it up when, when I ask you to, please, if, uh, if you have it. Um, Firstly, directions is north, south, west, east. North would be Nikrik. South, Wangnik. West, Pingarnik. Pingarnik. East, Kanarnik. And our month, we follow seasons, Inuit follow seasons. So our month is more or less what we hunt for those seasons. Um, some of the months, I won't be able to tell you what they are. I'm just going to read them. Um, no, before we get to get to everything else, I am not certified educator. I am sharing my own knowledge 
and what I have in front of me. I am not going to take any credit for these words that you will be learning. Inuit, Inuit language was passed down to me from, from while I was still in the womb of my mother. And um, it has been with me ever since, but we do lose languages. And there are words that I have lost because I have not fully um, participate, participate in life fully. Like for instance, an Inuit way is hunting and camping. I don't hunt down in Ontario. I don't go camping here in Ontario. So, <clears throat> Those words I have forgotten. I mean, there are only bits of pieces that still remain to me. So, um, yes, directions, I already told you the directions. Now, month in in a dot. January, um, Kanaktak, February, Avunibik, March, Natiak, April, Iplaulit, May, Tiri Loit, Joan, Manit, July, Sagarut, August, Akudlit, September, Umirai Yakbik October Sikubik November Katangagivik December Avik Okay, let's look at January. Kanaktak. Um, Kanaktak. Should we call on people to say it? I have everyone here and I soon see new faces. And Looks like I have the oldest face here. <laughs> One of the most knowledgeable, for sure. <laughs> um, give me one minute. I have to. Um, okay. Retrieve something for a bit. Um, entertainment for a bit. Paige, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we will take a look at your Ipitikis, um, the Inuit alphabet. If everyone can see Nalak's screen, um, you can also pin her video so that she's a center. Um, so <laughs> I don't I like to sing. Are we Are we gonna sing? I don't know if I want to lead the singing, but um, <laughs> shall we go through it? E, P, D. And we go down each row or column, I guess. Yeah. G. So the, the G is more like a H. G, I think. Ni. Ni. Si. Li. 
Does anybody know how to say the J one? G? G? G. G. E. Awesome. Thank you, Melo. V. G. G. And then the last, the N G one is is like a right? N. N. It's like the end of sing. Ng. N. G. Shall we sing the first row? <laughs> Maybe Nalek can do that. <laughs> well, um, I want to, I went and grabbed my smaller version. Awesome. That's right behind me. I can't see it. Okay. Um, Salabiks, Tetaraksuk, Nutak. Um, it's also used um, Cree. Cree also uses syllabics. Um, in, in the far right, in the far right, we have um, small finals, small finals. There's H because we have no um, no syllabic, so there's H. Um, yes, uh, in my growing up days, before they introduced this new syllabics, we used to have I, E, U, A. There's before, and that, and they dropped the I. Um, now, with, um, with uh, the first E, the first E, you put a dot, a dot up there to make it long sound. Um, when you put a dot up above a syllabic, it, it carries us a long, uh, long word. Um, for instance, Atira, Atira, Atira is my name. Atira, now look. Um, repeat after me. Um, but you don't have to turn on the mic. Atira. Then your name. Atira now look. And another word would be Uvanga. Uvanga now luck. I am now luck, Ubanga. I am. Um, Kinaubit. Kinaubit would be what or who are you? When an Inuk fluent Inuk woman or man or child asks you Kinovit, that would be asking you for your name. Well, before I do that, <clears throat> let's, let's do the syllabics. Um, e -u -a, P Pupa, T tuta, K kuka, G guga, 
me mama ni nuna si susa li lula ji juja vi buva ri ruwa khi khuwa ngingunga Klikla. South Baffin doesn't use Klikla. That's more for central, central, um, north, uh, central, central and east. More or less use that one there. And and a little further up north, they use that too. Um, it's it's um, when I'm teaching a small child, the easiest for easiest way for me to teach them the alpha of uh, the syllabics would be singing to them. So I would sing from top to bottom. E B D G G M N O C L Y V R L X Y Z. O P O T O K O V O M O N O S O L O Y O V O R O K O M O S L O. Apada kagamana salaya yavaga ha na kla. Very hard for me to use this, uh, the last the last syllabics because I don't use those. Um, e. Um, yes. That is also a word for yes in inutut, inutut, e. Aga. We make face expressions when we're when we're um saying yes or no. E. We put our eyebrows up. Mm. A. Ga, no, a uh, ga. Um, uh, another easy way to remember these is um, finding a word that starts with the syllabic like ulu woman's knife ulu well this is not a ulu this is um khilautik khilautik is a hammer him him seamer ah uh, Appa, a papa for a child. I would, I would say food. A papa when I'm feeding a child. A papa, I'll be giving, giving the food to the child. A papa. Um. P. Um. Okay, this is going to take a whole whole lot. We we only have half an hour to go. Well, let's um, basic words that you really want to learn is communicating with another Inuk. 
Kinovit. What is your name? Kinovit. Uvanga Naudlak. And when when the person who's asking um when they don't recognize who you are then they start asking who your parents are who you are related to so um <clears throat> For instance, um, I'll take Mapalo Aipili for example. I know that word, I know that name, Aipili. So I would ask her, Kinaku, what Angayukatit? Who are your parents? And her answer would be, giving me giving me her parents her parents names and if i don't recognize her parents names i would then ask her where are you from nami miu tauvit Nami Niu Dalvit. Where are you from? Nia Kungo Miu Dalvunga. I'm from Apex Hill. Nia Kungo Miu Dalvunga. Well, I would, I would, I would um, answer differently now because I'm not there. I would answer, It goes longer, doesn't it? <laughs> um, Igik, Igik, Kinga, Kanil. Mouth, kinga, nose, iyik, eyes, kigutit, teeth, hunga punga, I'm smiling, kunga git, smile. <laughs> um, okay, it's Paige, you want to bring up the yes, let me bring up. Does everybody see that? Okay, we have the syllabics here or English? <laughs> I have the syllabics, uh, the English on my hand, so can you put the syllabics up? Okay. Inuit akarunganit. The Inuit year. Um, Is that okay? Yes. Um, okay, on top of it is seal, seal pups. Natsia Livik. Natsia Livik. And skin tent is Season of the skin tent would be early spring. Ukiut sock. What? No. Upingak sock. Upingak sock. 
Um, it's a, it, it's a yak Sayak nuk to pit to knock. It's a yak nuk to pit to knock. Time, time for the skin tent. Um, nesting geese. Udlulinak Kangonut Nilinit Nilinut would be spring. Um, skill, uh, seal skin tents and kayaks, geese, elders, eggs. Clams, beluga, and wolves. They'll be in month of June. And seal pups and skin tent would be in month of March, April, May. Is lake and packets hunting and fishing, Arctic hare, ptarmigan, turbot, and seal pups. It's early spring. Year-long harvest are caribou seal and Arctic char. Um, and in summer, September, August, and July um, would be kelp, plants, clams, Norwal, berries, mountain squirrel, caribou skin preparation, moths, kudluk, wicks. Season of the berries and season of the running Arctic char. And in, in November and October during fall, Norwal, kelp, ducks, harvesting heather, um, canucks, caribou skin clothes, clothes. season of the uh, caribou hunt would be in the fall. That's um, their fall, their fur, uh, their pelts are more useful than during fall. If you hunt them too early, um, the, the fur would fall off and there would be no not, not so good to, of use. And season of a glue and season of the polar bear, seal and caribou skin clothes, wolf, fox, ptarmigan, arctic hare, kelp, and turbo. That is during the months of December, January and February, winter time. Um, open Lutzak is early spring. Open Lak is spring. Ao Yak, summer. Ukiutsak, fall, autumn. Ukiuk. Ukiuk is winter. So those, those are the things that we use um, year long, kind of these, what we follow. We follow the animals, <clears throat> like the month. Um, seal, natiak, 
um, was March is when we hunt, um, when, when the seals give birth to baby seals, not yet. Um, you could put that down now. Thank you, Paige. Mm. Anybody want to um, learn something? You can, you can message me and I'll, um, and I'll try and get you to say that word. Yeah. Um, way back then, birthdays, um, we, did, we didn't really know what day, what birthdays were, but we knew of the season, um, which for, it, for example, July, I knew I was born in July. And that'll be the time for um, clams, kelp, and Norwal hunting. So that that's when that time comes, then I would know I was born around that time. Um, yes, another word. Another word to um, express love to one another, to another human being is akuluk. Akuluk, I love you. And in the kind of another word for that is najligidagit. I I care for you. I love you. <clears throat> I I myself try and say that every every day to whoever is around me. So I say that quite often to my husband and my puppy. <laughs> um <clears throat> Unnukut, unnusakut, unnuakut. Good evening, good early evening, and good night. Udlakut, udlatsi, udlasakut. It's good morning. Um, but when when you're um, when you are um, replying to somebody, udlatsiak, meaning it's good morning. Um, udlakut, then if kind of you say udlakut, and the person you're talking to would say udlatsiak. <clears throat> Unusakut. Unnukut, unnuakut. Um, good evening, good early evening, and good night. Um, more animals, okay. Um, How to express anger? Well, you you when when you um, when you are when you are angry, you know that um, your tone of voice changes. <clears throat> you get louder. You. Kind of, you express very mean face, <laughs> right? That's right. 
Um, but when you're expressing love, you have sense of very peaceful face. You're, you're expressing your love to one another. Um, for instance, if I didn't, if I didn't like what my sons were doing, right? I, I just look, give them the eye, and they know right away that they did, they didn't, they did something that I didn't approve. I don't have to say something. They learned, kind of. They learn from the beginning, from my um, my voice, my tone of voice, and they didn't like that tone of voice because the expression of my eyes says it all. Um, and if they're not listening well, I would tell them. Una look, una look. Well, in the angry voice, una look. <laughs> and right away they would they would know that they're in deep trouble. <laughs> and and also um, another another thing is using the full name of a child. They, your child doesn't, doesn't hear you use their full name, right? They only kind of, they know right away when you're using their full name that they're in trouble. Because when we're talking to them you know, peacefully, we're using their regular name. And Nick, son, um, when I'm um, when I'm talking to them, I would say, "Ekni, I um, son, are you okay?" And um. My tone of voice says it all that I care and love them. So, kind of, um, yes, no shame. So indeed, there are a lot of reasons why we lose our, our languages and we are building them back. I have to go out hunting, camping soon with people that who are fluent in Inutitut, so I can learn those words again. Um, kind of, um, being an Inuk or any, okay, Inuk, Inuk, for me to translate it is, Inuk is a person. So um, Inuit is plural for people. So Inuvunga, I, um, my elder would um, translate that as I am alive. Inuvunga. I am alive. I'm an Inuk. So um, a Chinese, for instance, is also an Inuk because it's he or she is a person. Um, Inukasalui. Inukasaluit is a lot of people over there. A lot of people over there. Um, 
in kind of my there's dialects there are dialects that I don't even understand and our di dialects are so different um for instance Greenland Pavunga like Pavunga to them is meeting somebody, right? But to me, Pavunga is um, wrestling somebody. So um, different dialects. Um, <clears throat> so our expression of face is is um it's a key language um like for instance um pavunga if a greenlandic person spoke to me and with a very mean face, I would get that as a threat, right? Because the face is so scrunched up, it's tight. And when we have that, we know they're in stressful mood. They're, they're in, um angry mood so if a greenlandic person had said that to me with that kind of expression of face i would i would run <laughs> i would run far away but if their expression was peaceful then i would um ask again what does that mean right like oh then uh, kind of um what does that mean um kanu dana tukisu hakman kanu dana tukisi tukisi nukmat to kissiavit, to do you understand? To kissiavit, do you understand? Aga, to kissiavitunga. No, I don't understand. Um, okay. Any, anybody want to give me an, um, an example um, of a question? Anybody want to ask me a question? And I'll, I'll answer it in Inutitut and see if you can understand that. Coffee Lunga Coffee Lunga Coffee Lunga Make me coffee Coffee Tuk Tunga Coffee Tuk Tunga I'm drinking coffee Can you teach us to say, how are you? Kanui pit. Kanui pit. Kanui 
Tunga. I am fine. Taha Yunga. I am tired. Sini Tunga. I'm asleep. Kunga Tunga. I am smiling. I am laughing. <laughs> we spend a lot of our time laughing, so this is very important. <laughs> yes. Ilali. <laughs> Um, would you like coffee? Coffee to Romagit. Right. Coffee to Romagit. Coffee to Ilali. You are welcome. Tunga sugit. Tunga sugit. Feel welcome. If you were to come to my place and you come visit me, and I would tell you to Tunga sugit. And feel welcome. Um, Yeah, Tunga Suvik, Tunga Suvik, Tunga Suvik, um, meaning um, where a place where you can feel safe and welcome. Um, I think that's why they call it Tunga Suvinga Inuit. A place where an Inuk can feel safe and welcome. Um, another everyday word is um, Uha lautik phone. Uha lautik uha mouth because I'm talking into the phone. That's why it's called uha lautik. Um, well, to me, this is um, like a computer. So I would call it um, small computer. Kagadak is brain, right? And computer is it's computer like a brain. Kagadao Yagalak, small brain, <laughs> small computer. Um, thoughts and good spirit by being welcome, open, and inclusive. Right on. Kubia Supunga Tabane Kama. I am happy to be here. Kubia Supunga 
Tavanikama Hovia Supunga Tavanikavit. I am happy you are here. Hovia Naktuhatta Hovia Naktuhatta. It's very joyous um Kovihanak Tuhatta very excited joyous person <laughs> expression yes expression is very very useful um in your body language um <clears throat> What else? Um, animals. Animals. Um, upik. Upik is an owl. What Paige has there is upingwak. Upingwak. A toy. A toy upik. A snow owl is upik juak. Upik juak. Silskin. Natsirayak. Silskin. Natsirayak. Um, rabbit, rabbit fur, ukali rajak, ukali rajak. Um, Dog, chimmik, chimmik, a dog. Chimmiralak, chimmiralak is a puppy. Chimmiralak, <laughs> chimmiralak with a, with a, um, surprise expression would be a damn dog over there. Ichaluit. <laughs> Ichaluit. Ichaluk. One fish. Ichaluit. School of fishes. Ichaluit um, used to be our camping ground only before it became a community or a city. Ichaluit was the place that we went um, fishing, where we occupied the place during spring when the fishes are are plenty. Um, Arctic char is a year long food too. We go um, ice, ice fishing for it too. Um, <clears throat> Manuk, that was month, month of March is eggs. That's when Snow geese and geese are up up north is eggs. Sadluit. What about sadluit? <laughs> what what does it mean? Calorie fish with sadluit. Sadluit. Does it mean? Um, well, for, for my dialect, mm -hmm. 
um, um, skinny. Oh. Like in my dialect. Narrow? In my dialect, it's skinny. Sad look. Oh. Hmm. Sad look is skinny. Okay. Hmm. Sad look are skinny, skinny people or skinny dogs. Okay. Hmm. Um, that that to me would be um <clears throat> hey they're not eating very well over there oh because i have a student from some weeks yeah i wondered the meaning of the name of the place interesting mm. Mm. i saw an owl or I saw a dog. Um, I have a cute baby in the field and I want him to call cute baby and introduce. Um, Akuluk <laughs> Unakuluk would actually be Unakuluk, beautiful person. Or um, forgive me, but I have forgotten how to say nieces and nephews. Um, <clears throat> I know there are words for that. I don't I don't usually use them. Um cute baby. Um baby kuluk. Inehunak to kuluk. Baby kuluk inehunak to kuluk. Hey, I have a question for all of you. How would you like this to be bi-weekly lessons? Bug page for it. <laughs> <laughs> Putting me on the spot. Maybe a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I think everyone's very hungry for more lessons. <laughs> Uh, so um, your your um your um uh, your homework will be I am no luck I am your name Uvanga Mapaluk Uvanga Natasha like um, you introduce yourself like that when you come on to TIA Zoom meetings. Amazing. Yay. Yay. Uh, me. thank you so much. Now, look, I thought maybe to sign off, do you have a word to say, see you later or until next time? Yeah. <laughs> Let me write it down. I know in Anishinaabe Muin it's Bamapi, but I never remember the Inuktitut one. I also heard um, Kaupatau. Yeah, Kaupatau is tomorrow. Oh. Well, we'll see you tomorrow if you join virtual Tita Room of Eat. <laughs> is later. We'll see you later. Awesome. Nakome. Lali, you're welcome. Well, thank you everyone for joining.